This is a simple code sample for using the Google Maps JavaScript API. Here we have a body element with a div, a div that includes ID attribute. So we could refer this div when writing the code responsible for displaying the map. On top we have a meta element. This meta element is for touch screen devices. It disables the web browser capability on these um, um, touch screen devices to handle the scaling, the zoom in and zoom out. We don't want the, um, the scaling when the user touch the, the, the screen to be handled by the web browser. We want it to be handled by the JavaScript code uh, this API includes. Here we have a style element responsible for displaying the map. As you can see, it refers also to the div element on the bottom. Here we have a script element that refers to the JavaScript library, the API. As you can see, we have a query string that includes the parameter key. Its value is the key you should obtain, obtain in advance. It also includes the parameter sensor. Its value should be either true or false meaning whether you use or don't use location sensors. Here we have another script element. This line is redundant. Let's take it away. As, as you can see, this uh, script element includes code in JavaScript responsible for displaying the map. Here we invoke the addDomListener method uh, accessed by google.maps.event. When we invoke this method we can pass over for example uh, window meaning the reference for the object that um, represents the whole window and here if we specify the string load it means that the function we pass over as the third argument will be invoked when the loading of uh, the window is completed. So when the window loading is completed, only then this function, this anonymous function, will be executed. Here we create an object, an object we later pass over to the so-called kind of uh, constructor, map constructor. Here new google.maps.map looks as if we are dealing with a constructor. Uh, its name is map. As you already know in JavaScript we cannot define classes and, and constructors inside those classes but it does feel like um, uh, creating an object by um, calling a constructor passing over two arguments. The first argument is the reference for the object, the DOM object that represents this element. The second element the second argument is the reference for the object we created before. This object is responsible for configuring the map. As you can see, object in JavaScript is just a collection of properties. Each property has a key and a value. In this case, we specify um, the location where we want the map to focus on, the zoom we want to get in the beginning and the type of the map we want to display. If we, we try to execute this code sample, this is the output. And as you can see, a very detailed map.